Good afternoon, everyone. Today is February 28th, the last day of February. Um, I just want to share a little bit. Uh, I believe that I'm a very humble lady that um, has a humble heart from now and forever. Um, I was brought to the Lord a year ago well, years ago, but as of a year ago, I, 2020, I became a reborn Christian. With all the choices um, to live my life and walk and talk every step of it with the Lord. He's our Almighty. He's our Almighty Jesus. Praise Him. As we all know, 2020 was a very very hard year for so many so many that it was so unknown the not knowing what's happening but we all know with the walk with god we will he will not leave us or forsake us um And as I was doing my morning devotions and prayers and praises and thanksgivings to the Lord, I was reading um, James 1, 22 to 24, if you want to look it up after, and Psalms 118, 24. Um, this is something I need to share. Um, joy is not dependent on our financial situations, our relationships with others, or our emotional state. It may take us some efforts, but it's not his joy that calls out us from our hiding places. It is what's allowed us to see the beauty um, in the midst of our choice and tor tormentals or terminals or whatever the case may be. It causes us to rejoice, praise Him, even if the floors beneath us seem like they're crumbling, which I know we've all been there. We can see it. We've done it. We've been through it. So I'd like to uh, ask you, did you choose today in the middle of your circumstances? Whether it's going to be an easy day or you're facing a difficulty one. I think it's easier to always look for the joy and you'll find it. Look for it deep inside you and you'll find it. My prayer this morning was, Lord, I want to see your joy in everything I encounter. I know in order to do that, I have to look at a different view. Help me to rejoice in each day that you have made. And then I have a question. Can you accept the challenge to be glad today? Joy is a choice. My answer to this is yes with the grace and mercy and love that god gives me i can find joy today in everything i do whether it's watching curling watching on passive youtube cooking cleaning whatever it is i know i can find joy in it today just the simple little things is so grateful and knowing it comes from God and he's leading me 
there's no other way. Um, then I have another question here. Are you still having trouble seeing yourself as being worthy of God's faithful love? Can you hear God's faithful love whisper over today? I can if I open my heart and let him in. Open my mind to accept that he is in control, not me. I follow his will, his ways, and he will lead me like his promises were. I shall never forgive or forsake you or leave you. So the other part of my answer today is um, God is showing me a way to express to you today, to everyone or anyone that is willing to listen or watch my video. Now, right now, I cannot believe that God is giving me the strength to sit and share this with you today. I praise my Almighty Father for all the strength and guidance and wisdom that He gives me, and especially His love. Love is sometimes a hard one to see, feel, because there's so much that goes with it. But if you thank the Lord, our almighty Jesus, he will show you, like he's showing me, that it comes in small bits at a time. It's not my will, it's his will, and his plans that he has for me. And they were set long before I was here today. Um, God has also been leaning on my heart to uh, share an opportunity of my strength and wisdom that he has given me, but also an opportunity that has come across to me, which I feel is a total blessing from him. So if God shows you an opportunity, will you take him up on it, on his word, and promise to follow through? As he promises us, for us. Um, I believe that faithfulness comes through blessings of all opportunities God gives us. Whether we totally understand them the right way or not, we all have the joy to choose. And when we follow with our hearts, our minds, Jesus will pull us through. He leads the way and clears the paths to joy, love, peace, righteousness, guidance, wisdom, strength, abundance, abundance of all these things put together. That's what abundance is to me, is all those. Abundance to be able to share and I feel comfortable sharing today because I have the strength of God in me, with me, near me, beside me, all around me. I feel so blessed. He will provide for all our needs and then some. He wants everyone to share his word and to live by his word. We're not all able to do that. We all make mistakes. We've all been judged. But the only one who can judge us is God. 
and that's only through Jesus that we get to God. And on Judgment Day, we all answer, no matter what, to God. Um, another thing I wanted to say that he provides for our needs, but he doesn't want us to be greed. As I was listening this morning to Tim Poppasis on YouTube, he's the minister at the Church of Christ in Esteban. And I was listening to him this morning on, it's actually at midnight last night, so it's still morning, but as I was listening, it was about cancel your show. What a great message. So if you get a chance, look up on YouTube and listen to Tim Poppas, T-I-M-I-P-P-U-S on YouTube. Or he also has a blog, T-I-M-P-I-P-P-U-S dot B-L-O-G-S-P-O-T dot com. It will give you peace if you're struggling. And if you are struggling, that's maybe one of your answers today. Let God be willing. The Lord is also asking um, for us to show wisdom and guidance today. Through his hands, I have had an opportunity um, to become a business partner, to start a business, to work home, from home, as if COVID has done for us many, many things has changed the world in many, many ways that one does not know what they're looking for but through God and blessings that he has given and sharing right now is the opportunity that God wants me to share with you um God has laid his hands on this man, Mr. Ash McFarren, with the technology, God's guidance, God's strength, God's wisdom, God's knowledge. But it's all brought through Mr. Far uh, Mr. Ash McFarren through his ability and his knowledge and his vision for the world. But I realize it's all through God first, then to Mr. Ashmafar, then to his team to build. But we all have to start somewhere and it all starts with God. I believe this fully hearted. So with that said, the opportunity I want to share is called On Passive. But I really feel in my heart it should be On Passion. Because Mr. Ash, as I call him, has a passion. And that passion came from God. He will tell you that himself in any of our webinars or Zooms or any meetings that I've ever attended. He shows his passion and it's from God and he's giving it to all of us as an opportunity to share the wealth. You know, there's a lot of countries that are if they had an extra $200 a month, it would be amazing. 300, 400, 500. 
they'd be able to bless others. This is my own feeling right now. If every person had that extra two to five to a thousand to two thousand dollars, the world would be so blessed and be able to oh bless someone else. Paying it forward is God's way. Um, I don't know how to even begin to talk about on passive because it's in the artificial intelligence digital marketing I use some of the products that we have now but not with on passive but we use like this YouTube zoom videos we connect with our families with texting, videos, pictures, through our internet. Um, there's another product that it's called Academy. It's all about learning, teaching. God will be so blessed. I'm so thankful God gave Mr. Ash this vision to teach, to share, to love. I've never stepped out of my comfort zone to uh, share my true feelings about God on passive, myself my beliefs, but I know this morning, after listening to Tim's YouTube video and doing my readings, today was the day to do this. So if you really want something bad enough and feel passionate about it, we should all go for it. Whether we know everything about it or we know nothing. It's, to me, it's believing and trusting that the opportunity came to me. And I want to share it with you. I want to start by sharing God's words he will not forsake you. He will not leave you. This is passion. And we have to remember, he gave his only son for us. For any sin. And I believe when I was baptized in 2020 as a reborn Christian, God washed all that. He took it, he set it aside, and he'll never look at it again. And I'm not to do that neither. So I'm trying to be a better person today than I was 20 minutes ago. If you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to enjoy life, but don't let the opportunities pass that God is blessing you with right now in his word he will never leave you he will never forsake you so now I need to believe I will never leave me and I shouldn't forsake me I should believe that the opportunity that came to me a while ago back I need to share I need to oh bless others with the opportunity of on passive and God's love because we do nothing 
We do nothing without God. He created everything and continues to create. He gives us the knowledge, the guidance, the leadership, the know-how, the mentoring, is all in the word. So today, as I sit here and in my home, I feel so blessed to be able to share God's word and on the path. Oh, I'm sure I have a lot of words here, but um, we all know that we get led by something, somehow, somewhere, somewhat. But it should start with God. Family. Friends. Opportunities. Then our life can be fulfilled as God planned. We walk each day, each step, knowing he will never forsake us or leave us. So now I'd like to look, throw out a big thank you to Stuart Clark, a great friend and brother in Christ, that brought me this opportunity of a passive co-founders. And between Mr. Clark teaching me and mentoring me and guiding me and myself listening and watching and learning with knowledge and asking God for wisdom to, to understand it all and understand how Mr. Ash McFarren is Christ-like man and the humanity he has for man, the blessings he wants to share because he could have built this company on his own without founders, without me or you or whoever. But he's not greed. This goes back to cancel the story, change from greed to sharing. This is what I really believe when it hit me this morning that about Tim's message. Cancel the story. Cancel the show. It's not a show. Greed is the ruin of a lot of things and people. I know we always want possessions. I don't care about possessions right now. I care about blessing others and sharing what I have. And if it's God's word that I have, that's what I'm going to share. I also have the opportunity with Unpassive to share God's work through Unpassive, which I believe all started when Mr. Ash Farah had a vision. So I'd like to thank Mr. Ash Farah for following his visions and blessing us. Founders also. So if you're wanting to be a founder and to be blessed by El Paso through the Lord, ask me. I have spots saved for you.
because God saves a spot for all of us. My belief through the Lord today and forever is to share the same opportunities that I was given a while back to share them today and to continue sharing my belief my faith through God about the opportunity of Unpassa. If you want more information on Unpassa, because I don't know all the ins and outs, I'm still learning. Even though I've been on Passa for two plus years, now I need to learn myself. So there is a website, it's called onpassive.com. It has all the tools that we're going to have, the services and products. But personally, I believe in my heart, God will lead us. And Mr. Ash Nafara will bring the opportunity for each and every one of us. We may want to share like I am, or we may want to sit back and not share, because no one, until they're comfortable, is ready to do what I'm just doing right now, because it took me over two and a half years to do that. And I thank my good Lord for opening up my heart, my mind, and giving me the words to speak, to share this today. I want to be able to reach out to everyone and anyone that is in need or needing comfort and not knowing where or how to reach out. I want to be there for who, where, when, what, why, to my best ability through what God gives me and helps me speak. He gives me the strength and the knowledge to be able to share not only opportunities but most of all his word if we believe in god's word the opportunities will knock they will come knocking blessing after blessing so i believe in worshiping is leading us all to a better place through God. I know I'm not always able to explain it, but I'm doing my best that I'm able to do and understand. But also know that God puts people, things, places, in our path all reasons we need others to help us to lead to share to love to bless to mentor these are all God's words that works in everyday life if we let them and we follow so I believe there is a need for everyone. And on passive is your end to need. We can either share or wait. It's automatic. It's an automated system. There's nothing better. 
because you can ask God for help. And on passive love, help. Help build you to your journeys, your future, your dreams. I am so grateful I have the guidance of other people in my life, my family, my children, my friends, my co-workers, my founder partners in Unpass. They are a big family. We are now over 546,000 founders. And it's like one big family helping everyone. I will share this video with them. My goal is to share God's word, God's passion, God's blessings that he's leading me to, which one is on passive, which I think it still should be on passion because everyone that is in on passive is very passionate about what they do and what they see and how things are progressing. But remember, it's all through God. God blesses everyone each day in new ways. He's asking me to share this today, I feel through my own heart, to share to the world that you don't have to be an IT person. You don't have to know what art artificial intelligence is, but you do need to know what God is and what God's words are then the understanding will come about everything in your life. Everything. Everything is like building a community, building a team, building God's love. Even if it's one person at a time, I'm grateful for that. If I have only one person today to see my video, and to see that I have the passion for God and on passive today and forever. And if it can help one, I am so blessed and I'm grateful. And I will praise the Almighty Father for this. Because it's through Him to me that I'm able to share to you today. So I'm, I pray that by me sharing today, that this will help you to check the opportunities that God leads your way. Give him thanks and prayer and praise the blessing comes your way. There is nothing we can cannot do if we have God with us. Because he will never leave us and never forsake us. It almost brings tears to myself when I think back about the opportunities that we go through in life and we seem to pass them up because of the fear of the unknown. But we're not supposed to know what's gonna happen tomorrow. God will share that with us. So if the opportunity comes today, like someone told me, jump on it. Don't be afraid. God will lead you. 
He will teach you. So this is why I believe as I share my passion for the Lord, I also want to share my passion about an opportunity with Onfazo. Because we just never know until it's God's time, God's will, God's plan. And today, I'm blessed to be able to do this through God. Thank you, everyone, for taking this time. I don't even know how long it's been, but that's okay. I have all day because God's with me. So we must be very thankful to thank everyone for our efforts and give them encouragement to step out, step aside, share the opportunities, build your life through God and you will have trust, belief, faith. He doesn't ask for any more than that. And to share the word. God doesn't take us to places that we don't take ourselves. Because sometimes we look back and we think, oh my gosh, I shouldn't have did this or I shouldn't have done that. But it's all learning lessons. And as long as we're learning, God will keep giving. Because he's a giving God. He's a caring God. So as I like to wrap up here a little bit and let everyone begin their journeys, whether it's just starting today or it was years ago. They're all journeys. Each day is a journey. Because nothing is guaranteed except for God's love if we accept it and bring it into our lives. So I encourage everyone to find that joy and peace and happiness and fill their dreams with hope and abundance in so many other ways. Abundance doesn't just mean financial. Abundance of love. Abundance of kindness. All the little add up to big in God's He does not judge. I do not judge anymore. I thought and thought about how and what I was doing. But I find peace in myself now. I try to do the best I can at everything. I try to think. I speak, I try to take that negative and turn to a positive, but I'm only human. God knows this. That's why he gave his son, because of all those little ones that we have to still keep learning lessons. Lessons that everyone learns. Thank you everyone for listening and taking the time to listen to the end. I'm grateful for that. And you will be too. Because there might be one little thing that I said today that may hit you. The stories of life histories, sharing, caring, loving, it all starts there. I 
feel I poured out my heart. And I pray one day you will too. So for now, God is a big part of all of this. Don't misunderstand me. God is the only part. The passion, the love, the caring is all from God. And we need to praise Him for all those things. Every second, every minute of the day, if we need to, He's there for us. And our passive is going to be there for us too. I call this my blessing from God. His on passive. And please remember, you are loved. Everyone shares love in some form. You may not know it today, but it's there. It's there. So God bless. Have the very, very best day you can. And let there be lots of blessings coming your way for your journey through God, through myself, or through the business opportunity I share. Just reach out to me. Reach out. Just trust and follow your heart. Even if we don't understand everything, that's okay. We will be showing one way or the other. Just ask for wisdom, guidance, mentorship, whatever you're needing to get started. Just ask. People are placed in our lives for a purpose and a reason. That's how I want to leave this. For a purpose and a reason. God bless you all. Take care. Bye-bye.